Zener diodes are used as voltage regulators. You can get them at different values of voltage and power. These, for example, are of 13 volts and one quarter of a watt. This is the typical connection of a Zener diode. If your load needs 10 volts and your power supply is of 18 volts, for example, you connect a Zener diode of 10 volts through a resistor and the voltage of the power supply is regulated to the 10 volts that we need. The resistor is necessary to limit the current that passes through the diode. But this has the problem that the current through the load will be also small. In order to increase the current, you need a thinner diode of a higher power rating. However, high power thinner diodes are hard to get and very expensive. We will now see a circuit that will increase the power rating of your Cinet diode. This is the modified circuit in which we have added a power transistor. The Cinet is connected through a resistor that limits the current that passes through the center, but is connected to the transistor and controls the working of the transistor so that most of the current is consumed by the transistor instead of the thinner and the voltage is regulated to a value 0.7 volts in excess of the voltage of the thinner so you have to take into account this extra 0.7 volts when you design your circuit any MPN power transistor will work for this circuit. Here's our circuit. We have the thinner diode and the resistor. And this is the negative of the circuit that is connected to the emitter of the transistor and from here to the negative of the load and of the power supply. The positive side of the thinner goes to the base of the transistor and the negative side goes to the collector which is the case of the transistor and from here to the positive of both the load and the power supply. We are using a power transistor here and let's now see the circuit in action. Let's test our circuit. As a load, I am using a 15 watts 12 volts incandescent lamp, which is connected to our power thinner circuit. And I have connected the multimeter to the terminals of the lamp to check the voltage that is reaching the lamp. The thinner is a 9.1 thinner plus 0.7 volts from the transistor gives 9.8 volts. This is the maximum voltage that will reach the lamp. Of course, it, it can vary a little because of the tolerance of the thinner diode. So let's see, I'm going to turn on the power supply. It is at six volts and this is the voltage reaching the lamp. So let me increase the voltage. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 volts. But we only have 10 volts reaching the lamp. Let me increase more, 12, 15 volts. But the voltage is regulated at around 10.2, 10.3 volts. The excess voltage is being consumed by our circuit. We can go to 18, for example, but the voltage does not increase. So in this way, we can use a thinner diode of very low power to control a large load using a power transistor.